With the Ethereum price about to break out of a key area, we're seeing some really bullish stuff happening on the Ethereum chart. As well as that, there's been leaks and news about the Ethereum proof of work moving to proof of stake. That's going to have a huge implication on the price potential for Ethereum later on this year. And I've got the date for you later on in this video. So without further ado, let's jump into the first piece of Ethereum news for today. So guys, looking across at the Nasdaq website, which is obviously a rather large website, we're starting to see more and more bullish stuff coming out about crypto and no contest, my top crypto to buy now. Crypto prices may be on the downhill side, but that also means that now is the most affordable time to invest in major cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, which have fallen by more than 40%. And Ethereum's biggest advantages, there's some stiff competition within the crypto space. With new tokens being developed by the day, this makes it especially challenging for any investor to stand out, but there's a few reasons why Ethereum is such a strong competitor. With Ethereum being a programmable blockchain, it can host all sorts of things from NFTs, as well as currency exchanges, and all sorts of other use cases, which is what's making Ethereum super exciting. And yeah, there's some competitors, guys, which are pricing themselves really cheaply at the moment, but they're not gonna be able to sustain those prices once they grow to the network size that Ethereum has. And the main piece of news today, before I show you some exciting stuff that's happening on the Ethereum chart, what will happen post-merge? Okay, so there's rumors, etc., talking about Ethereum and what's going on with regards to Ethereum moving from a proof of work to a proof of stake. And the rumors are that that's gonna be happening in around June time, which is only around three months away, perhaps even less for this to happen. And what will happen post-merge is currently there is pressure for retail proof of work miners to sell a significant proportion of Ethereum to cover their electricity costs. These proof of work miners are earning 12,000 ETH Ethereum, which is due to undergo a 90% cut of daily emissions. Now the fear is that once this happens guys, the people who are mining the Ethereum are gonna lose a lot of money. They're not gonna be interested in mining the network and they're basically gonna boycott the network, which means that there's potential problems in play for Ethereum. However, proof of stake validators Post will earn 1,280 Ethereum per day, meaning that they will have no reason to sell their ETH to cover electricity costs. This will reduce pressure on Ethereum massively. Okay, so what we're looking at basically, guys, is like a triple halving. Every time in the past we've seen Bitcoin go through halving cycles, where the amount of Bitcoin produced each day is halved for the next sort of four years or so, Ethereum is about to go through a triple halving, which means that there's gonna be way less Ethereum arriving each day. So ultimately the demand for Ethereum might remain the same. And even if it remains the same, the availability of Ethereum is gonna drop. Supply versus demand. The rules are that if either of those drop, ultimately the price has to go up. So there's some really super exciting stuff happening to Ethereum coming up in just a few months. But jumping across to the Ethereum chart, guys, I looked at this pattern with you guys yesterday. We've been in this uh, symmetrical triangle all the way back since the middle of January. And what I told you yesterday is we were putting in this very key W pattern here, and it has a neckline, pretty much this green line here, at around $2,780. But as you can see, we had this wick up before, push back down, and actually our neckline may be slightly under that, and we could well have already broken it. You can see that we're coming back to retest it now, but it looks like this W pattern's gonna play out, and ultimately the W pattern will bring us to a price target of above $3,000. Now, $3,000, not necessarily the most exciting price in the world. Bear in mind that Ethereum in the past, we have seen prices such as 4,851, but breaking above $3,000, guys, is Ethereum's catalyst moment where we're gonna have a breakout of this key pattern here. This pattern will bring us to a price target of above $4,000, and ultimately that will then bring us on our way to continuing on this pattern. And the best thing about this, guys, is when we move into that halving cycle, we're already gonna be way on our way up here. We're thinking about June being where the prices are gonna be rising. This, you can see, guys, up here is around the middle of June. So it would make sense that the prices would be quite high around here because it would tie in nicely uh, with the continuation of this pattern. And notice, guys, we may well see a bounce off this, but it does create some sort of a double bottom here, which could be absolutely insanely big. You only need to kind of see if this was to form and play out as a double bottom pattern, then we are gonna look at some sort of a price target, which I'm not saying is gonna happen anytime soon, guys. This is way down the line of, you know, looking towards $7,800. This could be a crazy Ethereum price as we look at it right now, but back in the past, looking at Bitcoin, etc., you might have said that it was crazy for Bitcoin to go to 30K. You might at one point have thought it was crazy for Bitcoin to go to $1,000. 
So guys, always imagine what can be around the corner for crypto, Ethereum price, Bitcoin price, etc. If you want to find out when Ethereum is breaking out and get up to date posts about the latest news happening in Ethereum, then make sure you subscribe to this channel as well. I cover other cryptos and will start to bring Ethereum live streams as the market begins to move again. Also, guys, if you made it this far through the video, make sure you smash up the like button for the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you again tomorrow with another Ethereum update. Bye bye.